In 2017, the newly elected Donald Trump had been in office for less than a month when he welcomed Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. From the very beginning, the U.S. president was determined to tackle one of the most complicated battles of the past century. During that meeting, Trump said, I think we're going to make a deal. It might be a bigger and better deal than people in this room even understand. That's a possibility. So let's see what we do. Three years later, the two leaders gathered at the White House once again to reveal the long-awaited plan that the U.S. said would resolve generations of conflict. On Sunday, I delivered to Prime Minister Netanyahu my vision for peace, prosperity, and a brighter future for Israelis and Palestinians. This vision for peace is fundamentally different from past proposals. Trump envisages a future Palestinian capital in the town of Abu Dis, outside Jerusalem and beyond Israel's security barrier. He proposes underground transportation links between the Palestinian territories in the occupied West Bank and the Gaza Strip. And south of Gaza in the Negev Desert, two areas demarcated as industrial, agricultural and residential zones. One element of the plan that may prove to be its only enduring aspect is the U.S. recognition of Israel's claims over the Jordan Valley and all Jewish settlements in the occupied West Bank. Noticeably absent from that announcement at the White House, though, were Palestinian leaders. They've pronounced Trump's proposal dead on arrival. Much of the Arab world has taken a harsher tone, lashing out at the so-called deal of the century. But one of the key architects say it's a golden opportunity for Palestinians. I think they look quite foolish today. Uh, also, one of the great ironies is they keep saying they want to be a state. Uh, if you're a state, you don't call for days of rage when you don't get what you want. So uh, this is a real moment for them to show the world, are you ready to become a state or not? For some, Trump's Middle East plan is seen as a tacit approval for Israel to annex 30% of the occupied West Bank, already reduced to a fraction of its historical borders. So the question is, will the pro-Israeli proposal bring peace and stability to the Middle East, or will it plant the seeds for decades more conflict and suffering? Anis and Straight Talk.